Hey, North Hills. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to clarify some information about opening a PDF versus opening in Google Docs or Google Slides. This is going to be for iPad users because you guys have an extra step involved. We're going to get started by clicking on the assignment. We see that there are two main directions to open the attached document in Google Docs and type in your answer, open the presentation in Google Slides, and view it so that you can watch the videos. If I go to your work, I have two icons. Blue is Google Docs, yellow is Google Slides. I'll start with the Google Doc. When I click on that Google Doc, it's going to open to this page. This is an editable PDF. It's not the actual Google Docs in the Google Docs app. So if I click on the pen, I am editing the page, and that's fine, but I'm not going to be able to do things such as click on the link that's on this page. So I can mark up the page, I can answer the questions, but in order to do this, I have to click on this link, and that link is not clickable. So what I'm going to do is go back to this pop-up screen, and instead of clicking the pen, I'm going to click on the export button in the top right-hand corner, which is the square with the arrow. And when I do that, you'll see Google Docs is opening. The assignment will automatically pop up on your screen. And now I can go ahead and I'll be able to access some of those features that I couldn't be do before. Currently, the only thing I can do is move the page up and down, and if I click on the links, they will redirect me. But if I want to be able to edit the page, I'm going to click in the bottom right-hand corner on the pen. This will bring up my keyboard. I can now move to the question I want to answer. And in this case, I'm going to paste in some information that I already had. When I'm finished, it's going to save in real time automatically, so as soon as I type something, it is saving. That means that a teacher is able to view it in real time, and it also means that they can comment back and forth. But when I'm done, I click that check mark in the top left-hand corner, and then I can go ahead and navigate back to Classroom. I can get rid of that doc if I want. It's already saved. And if I look at my screen, we see that that blue typing is now here, and if I were to click back on the A. Burns Tundra, when I open it, it's going to be saved. It's going to be viewable. The process for opening a Google slide is going to be very similar. I'm going to click on the Google slide document. Right now, this is an editable PDF. It is a little bit different in that I can play the videos, but if you're looking at this, there are actually five videos, and I don't know that for sure unless I click randomly on pictures. So if I instead click on the export button in the top right-hand corner, this is going to open up Google Docs. Once I'm in Google Docs, all of the links become active, all the videos become active, and I can make those real-time edits that my teacher can see, and it saves the moment that I start to change anything to it. So if I look at this and I scroll down through, you'll see that there are a couple videos. This now has the play button in the middle of it. Um, I could click that, and if I do, you're going to get an icon that says present uh, to play video. The way I do that is by going up to the top right-hand corner, hitting the play button, present on this device, and now my Google slide is going to look like any PowerPoint presentation. We can move swipe left and right in order to change that screen. I can click play. This video is embedded, so it's going to play directly on the screen. If I want to export it to YouTube, I can click on the YouTube icon. And this makes it a little bit more interactive. Again, as you're making changes, if you're add, asked to add a text box here or to type into a text box, you can do that. All those changes occur instantly. And if I take you back here to Classroom, I want to show you one final thing, <clears throat> and that's just what an edited PDF looks like when you happen to attach it to the assignment. So I open up the assignment Tundra. I go ahead and click the pen, making it a PDF instead of opening it in Google Docs. When I do that, I can go ahead and edit, but there's not a lot of space there to write or do anything, whereas I would be able to manipulate that text if I were in Google Docs. If I go through, I try to click on my link, it won't work, but I do what I can, I save it, ultimately, you might still be able to complete the task. You might still be able to turn it in. Your 
teacher's still going to be able to grade it, so it's not the end of the world. But if you realize that you made a mistake and it's something that you shouldn't have done, if you look back at your work, you now see I have three documents attached to your work. The edited A. Burns Tundra is the PDF that I edited. I didn't mean to have it there. I shouldn't have done it that way. Not a big deal. I can click on that X on the right side and I can remove it. Now, one of the big things that comes up is that I accidentally click something that I shouldn't have and I delete that assignment. And people are asking, well, how do I get it back? We can get that back by clicking on Add Attachment. This is currently stored in Drive, so I'm going to look for it in my Google Drive account. And then in the top right hand corner, I'll click that search button and I need to type in the name. The name was Tundra. And if I look, there it is. It's been edited a couple of times, but I'm going to take the most recent A. Burns Tundra and I can get it back. It's not gone. All of this stuff is saved in Google Drive, so it is accessible which is one of the other nice parts of being on Google Classroom is that even if something gets wiped away because you closed out of it, because you X'd out of it, um, it's not going to be the end of the world that should be retrievable. I hope that helped clarify some things about the difference between a PDF versus opening in Docs and opening in Slides. If you have any questions, just keep forwarding them our way and we'll try to help you out.